everyone, welcome. Uh, this is the Floofcast, and we're doing the Artist Showcase again this week. We are being joined by Nova Linksa and her artwork. You. Yeah. Nova's a good friend yeah. of ours and a very good friend of mine. So, obviously, it's not we're not just going around and uh, selfishly promoting friends. No, we're going around and promoting people that we believe who's got good artwork. So... Let's get down oh, to thanks. the business. To defeat the Huns. Okay. Ugh. So, so I had to. the first picture I see here is a bit of a different... It's not artwork, but it is something that you do. And let me zoom in. It happens to be a beanie, a rainbow beanie. Mm -hmm. So, as the creator of said beanie... Please feel free to tell us more about the said beanie. Oh, well, I don't know. I crocheted it for a friend, and I was just like, hey, this looks nifty. I could try and sell it. So I posted front, back, and side views of it so everyone could see my, my beanie. The profile shots. Yep, the glamour shots of my beanie. Yep. Now all we need is a little boilerplate of said individual committed said crime and it would be perfect. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> got some, ooh, some traditional hand-drawn looking artwork mm -hmm. in what appears to be pencil. Yep. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, those were actually the very first Nova drawings ever. Like, not my very first drawings, of course, but my very first drawings of my Sona. Oh, this one reminds me of um, the guys from the the bad guys in uh, Metal Gear Solid. <gasps> oh no, I saw someone because it's got an uh, exclamation mark over their head. <laughs> yeah. So. Wait. <laughs> Bore it. Cute. The box is moving. Cute, cute, nonetheless. Thanks, I try. And mm. here we have Nova's fursuit. Yep, that's Kylie. Explain about Kylie, please, since this is you and this is your art thing. Uh, well, I bought Kylie off of my friend Rari, so technically this is what Rari's character used to look like before they changed it but um so I bought her off of Rari and I made my own character for it which is okay. Kylie mm -hmm. um and this is Excuse me. me the first picture so the the one where I'm standing up with my hands on my hips is me uh, my friend Rari taking a picture of me trying her on before I bought her and then the rest are selfies that I took throughout the day because I really liked her and I just wanted to. And that's very important if you're doing it, or period, is to try it on. If you yep. have the ability to do so. Um, for a lot of different reasons. Yep. Okay, next picture is another person in a head. No, you don't. You're not going to talk about the little catnip toy that I made for my kitten. Sure, we can talk about your catnip toy that you mean. That's Nymeria. Kitty kitties? Meow meow. She likes her toy. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I was making it and I let her sniff it and then the the rest of the time that I was making it she was trying to take it from me and she was like biting my hand so I was just like, God, no! <laughs> Wait. Pro product Wait. of Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> I was just like, wait, like, five more minutes and you could have your freaking catnip toy cat. Not fast enough. Next one is a another person in a suit. It's me! Wearing with my friend Rari's head coo. With fishnet stockings on your hands. They're not fishnet stockings, they're fishnet gloves. Gosh. Same thing, different difference. They're still fishnets. Whatever. <gasps> Uh, well, we, since you mentioned a little bit about Rari, you want to fill in people on the head, or no? Oh, that's just 
one of Rari's many characters named Ku, who's a caribou. Ku the boo. Mm. That's about it's it. Quoted, I stole Ku. Yep. Uh, that was me at my first convention, and actually me fursuiting for the first time. Cool. Later on, I would then put on the rest of Ku's body, and people gave me hugs because they thought I was Rari, and Goopy got very mad. Very mad, if you have seen that Twitter picture that I posted a while ago, Red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Digital right now he's mad thinking about <laughs> I can see in his shoulders. <laughs> Digital adventure. We skip around the different pictures, so. Ah, okay. Let me scroll up. Yeah. Okay. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my artwork. <laughs> I know. Um that's a freebie that I drew for my friend. Um of our sonas going on an adventure through the I don't even know what that background is don't <laughs> even ask, Al but, Jones. <laughs> but it it's like a weird it just imagine like a loading screen to a video game and you're just like yeah okay we're waiting holy dang the lag dough and then I'm a knight I'm I'm apparently her knight in shining armor and she's the the healer mage with a pet dragon, because archetypes and stereotypes and all that. Paladin roll. Yep. The druid. Roll for initiative. <clears throat> Fit fail. Pretty much. Uh, let's see here. We have... I believe that says Dante or Dente. The dragon. Let's go with the dragon. The Tante or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, no, I don't know that they never uh, enlightened me on their pronunciation. The way I talk. Um, if anything. Yet another freebie that I drew for someone on Google Plus. Mm -hmm. yep. Gotta stop shooting the freebies because you're not technically do freebies. <laughs> ah, here, just. I know the pricing is probably different, but we'll go with this one. Um, a YHC Pocky $15 for any species, any sex. Oh, yep. No, still $15. Okay, well, might as well cover that. You know, we'll talk about that part later, but I okay. just wanted to get away from the freebie part because I think the last three were freebie stuff, so I don't oh, want well, people I, to I get the wrong. I draw message. for yard for my friends. It's just what I do. I know. But, you know, as an artist, you don't probably want to get these. Could you give me free art? I'll be your friend. No. I give you toast. Uh, well, maybe if there's cinnamon on the toast. Then it's crunchy. So just give me cereal. <laughs> uh. Drake goes off in his own little world. Um, yep. Pretty just much. Had, I just had a very traumatic experience before this. <laughs> uh, ah. Here's a uh, the cute little couple. We'll get to that one in a second. But uh, the one I like the most, which is used in our podcast, which wasn't used in this week's podcast, which is the Lynx Cat. Oh, yeah. I love that style of... Uh, you mean my hyper-hyper-realism? I guess that's what that'd be, the brown one. Yep, the Lynx is just super, super duper realistic. Because I was bored one day and I was just like, I'm going to paint a Lynx and actually have it be a Lynx. That is all digital, correct? Yep. Because, uh, off topic, another, no, another, excuse me, person who does did an art piece that uh, was questioned if that's really art as in paint or not because someone failed to read the description happened to be Rin made one in digital art that actually looked like it was paint, hand painted by paint brushes and whatnot, just because it looked like palette knife and whatnot, but it was just digital art that's why hmm. it brought it up to me and I wanted to say something about it uh, yep, no, that's digitally painted 
as I heard someone say, uh, descriptions are for suckers. Sure, if you want to think of it that way. Ah, oh, pretty white wolf and lynx cat. Button heads. That one's one of my not favorites. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I the the one the I love you one. You and me bumping heads with all the white fur. I don't know. I didn't get. I I feel like I didn't portray you. I did spectacularly. You look great. Me, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with my white fur, but okay. Well, I'm glad that you think it looks amazing, love. I love you. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm not well, as biased as him, but I do like it though. So. Thank you. Um, well, Gooby's not biased. He just. Well, uh, technically he kind of is, but we'll we'll get on that subject later. <clears throat> I mean, to a certain extent. Ah, we have yeah. uh, an adoption here. We'll take a look at the adoption. Uh, adopt any gender, any sub, breed, uh, pit bull, dilute, marble, $10, crupped ears. Crouped ears. So is uh, most of your adopts that price, or is it um, random? Well, that one, just because of like the art style that I decided to draw it in, mm -hmm. $10. Uh, below, there was the $5 feline adopts, and then what else do I have? Uh, then I have that, um, I have another hamster adopt, and I have her going. She's more expensive because I offer more with her, so right now it's $5 for the current image. Um, for the hamster, and then like twenty for a badge drawn of her, and then like fifty right. plus, you know. So for the the pit bull one, I just kind of that's just all I drew, and that's just all you're gonna get, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's you know, for someone who's looking for adoption, that's relatively reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, you know. I mean, like I would I would add more if like people. Of course, of ask. course, you would. And, of course, we're going to go with uh, the badge here that says Nova's. Oh, yeah, the Gooby badge. Yep, that, uh, thanks to me, Gooby has a lot more art than of his Sona than he's ever had ever in the existence of his life. Because I'm an artist and I know artist people and I'm great. Well, that's fast. That's stuff. fantastic. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I would not have artwork of mine either, so... Mm -hmm. Even though I just have one piece of artwork of mine. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't have one at all. I know. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have one at all. Yes, I know. Don't laugh at me, Gooby. I, <laughs> I need more coffee. <laughs> um, yeah. Look out, you got I... a creeper on your chest. <clears throat> what? The shirt reminds me of a creeper. What the... shirt? Oh, the Gooby shirt, yeah. I tried to do green plaid, leave me alone. But it looks like a creeper, so it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, like basically, that um, is Gooby and my first couple badge kind of thing. Aww. That's what people do. They have couple badges. And uh, the was it the theme for the convention that we were going to was gangsters and gumshoes. So. I was like, yeah, greasers. That's a thing. So I went with, you know, like, stay golden pony boy kind of era clothes and all that stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And now here's Nova's. Mostly yep. the 50s, not really uh, time specific, but whatever. Yeah. I like that one though. I, I like, yeah, I, I like yours too. Got the little I have pompadour. I a bit of a pig nose, but whatever. I tried profiles. I wasn't very good at at that time. Obviously, yeah. this is like my first art. Right, it's getting better over time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's with any oh. artist; they get better over time because of the fact that they keep practicing their work. Yeah. Uh, I was talking with one the other day that we did the f this week's video on, and she says, "I'm just sitting here drawing snakes." Well, good. That's not a bad thing. It just means you're practicing your work to imp better improve yourself and to better do something with your work. You should not be ashamed of what you're doing. Yeah. Right. Go on to the next page. Back. We like to go 
back to front so we can show the older artwork first and bring it on through. Uh, let's see. Summer selfie. Because it's at the bottom of the page, and why not? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to zoom I don't in. Know. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kind of drew that hey. as like a TV gooby look at this kind of thing, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to post it. Sure. Post why it not? on the interwebs. Interwebs, always a good thing. Yeah. There's a white version of me because I, my first switch is just for Gooby because he likes white Nova better than black Nova. And the racist prick. I'm opposite. I actually kind of like the darker Nova better because it you like shows because it shows off the Novas a lot better than the white mm -hmm. one does. Because that's one of the things I had to say about the other one, even though I enjoyed it, was that when your button heads, it kind of bleeds away or more detracts from the white to the colors. Yeah. That's why I like the black better. That's just my opinion. And I'll stay... I'll stay with it. Yeah. There's nothing that you can do about it. No. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Yep. Apparently Gooby says even if it's wrong. Eh. Yeah. To each his own. He likes black Nova better. <laughs> Even though he has no idea what I'm wrong about, I love it. Yeah, you get into some of the video game characters I can see. Hmm? So oh. I can see you get into the video game characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. What? Axe you? No, I'm actually looking at Sylveon. He's oh. Kawhi. Yeah. You should click Rylu and the Nova icons because they move. Yeah, very cool, but very small for the YouTubes. Whatever, zoom in. <laughs> I heard you. As in, I right. put in hours of effort into that. You know how hard it was to make that a GIF and then a SWIF? Because <laughs> Fur Affinity doesn't like GIF images. I had to turn that into like seven different formats. Pain and effort. <sighs> <laughs> my heart bleeds for you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, I got a little bit of anime. Steven Universe Doodle. That. Yeah. Yeah. I see a familiar face too. Yes, there's a few familiar faces. We'll get to those in a second. But I think the one I like the most is uh, the princess and her galaxy queen. I think oh, that's yeah? cute, adorable. Yeah, it's adorable. That is Rari's little character. Her her baby fur, I suppose, I guess you'd call it. Uh -huh. yeah. Why and not? Then, with like a little... little. I'm, I think I'm wearing a moo moo. I can't remember. I yeah, just it kind of looks like you kind of ate. You look like her grandmother in that picture Shut a little up. bit. <laughs> you do. You look like the... If you I want to be a grandmother, I can be a grandmother. I'll There's nothing wrong with being a grandmother. What you hating on grandmas for? I'm not hating on grandmas. I can't be a grandmother without having a grandson? Yeah. Oops. What happened to having granddaughters? I can see the Chinese coming out in you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love you. The I know Chinese I know what you mean. Oh. I mean I didn't go there. Sorry. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, people who are watching this, uh, the man in the background is her mate, and she's having a conversation with him along with having a conversation with us. So I'm if you're confused, you. it's okay. It would be Ryu and the White Wolf. Yeah. Okay, next picture. Which would have to be me. Oh. Oh. Because you're self-centered. No, because it's something that's there. I know. And because Draco's like you. And because, yeah, someone's hinting at my pictures. Yes, I'm aware. <sighs> what about it? You know the um, story? You talk about it. It's, your, it's you. Well, uh, it, uh, if, let's see. How do we do this? Oh, this is not what I m we meant to put in here, but of course it is something that has to be in here because it is uh, very important, I guess. 
I met Nova, what is it, over a month ago? About a month and a half ago. Yeah, just about. And we, she's a YouTube gamer when she wants to be, but she's so fucking busy she doesn't have time to do such things. Uh, like school. And anyway, she had a posting on the Google Pluses looking for people to do collabs with. I believe that's what it was. Yep. And I said, sure, I'll do something with you. You seem interesting and whatnot. And I said, said we talked on Skype for a little bit via text we didn't talk it was before we started actually doing an episode and I believe I said bark bark get the thing bark bark I've mentioned a story before and a lot of people are like that's not furry stuff but my first word comes out of her mouth is are you a furry and to my reply to her was no I just something that I got from a youtuber who watches anime Okay, and then we go into the episode, and we discussed more about it, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't talk for over a week or two. It was about a week or two weeks. Busy schedule and whatnot. She works five different jobs. And uh, I, I thought about it, and I did more research on the fandom and whatnot, and because it's been a while since I've actually... I knew about the fandom like when I was 13 or 14 years old. But it just... You're 13 or 14 years old. If you're going to remember the fandom, then good on you. But me at that time was video games, trying to worry about school and all that. ish. So I forgot about it and put it off until now when I have time to think about things and run shit through. And we started playing... Um, doing another series together. And it's like virtually it's like, yeah, I'm gonna virtually tell you that I'm out. I outed myself, so to speak. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. She says, okay, and this is, we talked more, and it's like, I need to create a, uh, you know, character, Sona, because, you know, everybody else has got one. Might as well create my own, and she's like, what animal do you like? And it's That's like, not what I sound okay. like. What, <laughs> well, would you like to also add to the story as well, or do no, you... No, it's okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, jeez, God. Gosh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I says, well, I like um, Wolf and Fox. But I, you know, and then we, I think I joked about being, if I was gay in the gay community, I'd be considered a bear because I'm a big guy and hairy. She's like, oh, I know we should make uh, you a bear as well. I'll, I'll make a couple ref sheets, and we'll take a look at them. And then after that, you will, uh, we will um, decide. And I was like, okay, cool. And was a day passed, and we were talking again for whatever reason. You were bored or something like that. And she started just drawing it. And, well, that's where my sonar came from was just virtually... Here, you're going to be a bear, wolf, and fox, and that's about, you have no choice and no say in it otherwise, <laughs> which was fine, because actually, I, I like it as it is now. You know, it's it's just not the same unique, everybody's a fox, everybody's a bear, uh, a wolf, or something like that. It's a, a triple hybrid, so I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yes, good. And she drew that for me, and it's yeah. everywhere now. Everywhere. I, everywhere. I use it everywhere. If I'm tagged with it, it's there. Because that's the only piece of artwork I have. Because you're sad. Yeah, I know. Because I'm poor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next picture is Halloween icon full size. Mm. Which was your icon for a, for a longest period of time recently. Yep. Actually, you did it at the beginning of the month and you replaced it a week ago, I believe? Just about, yeah. Because it was your anniversary and you had a friend draw you a nice anniversary picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's... <laughs> All I hear is laughing, giggling. <sighs> I like it. Very interesting. And, of course, Thanks. we have the... Hamster adopt that we were talking about that I actually helped create, so to speak. I just chose the colors and the animal. So, yep. 
which is a hamster. Yep. Hamster. And that is it, I think. Um, but, of course, we'll get down to the nitty-gritty stuff. Because you are someone who is a commission artist. And you might as well talk about uh, prices and whatnot. Why so. don't you just click the links in my journal? Well, I could do that. Uh, uh, well, uh, I could do that, so... Why don't we look at the recent journal? <gasps> Links dun, here. Dun, dun. So we have a term of service, which you guys can look at. But we'll go at the prices, because that's the important bit. That's the nitty-gritty that we all want to check out. Cause that's the thing that people care about. Yeah. The terms of services you can always virtually take a look at. And it's probably just destroyed the... terms of service, Google. Yeah. <laughs> I am tired. God, I am tired. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh -oh. Never mind. Never mind, it actually fixed itself. I thought it was going to er error the video. Ignore that part, please. Okay, um, so we have Nova's art prices. Updated October 23rd. I have one, two, zero, a bajillion numbers. We'll just go with that. All right, so your sketches are vary from about 5 to $10, depending on what. I mean, I know it says that, but it's better to hear it from the artist as a whole. Uh, hold on. Um, let me get there. So I can... Do, 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 oh, yeah. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. So five to... Why is it like that? Oh. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. Um, yeah. Uh, so... Editing in process. Yeah, so it's like five bucks if you got one person, and then it goes up if you got more than one person. Right. Yeah. And, and just like the intensity of the background. So like yours, the picture that I drew of you, that's like a simple background because I'm literally just basically flicking paint. Right. And then writing words. So. Uh, apologies, folks. What? Uh, anyways, uh, so line art's ten to twenty dollars. Yep. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> if if there's more than one character, then it gets more expensive, and if the characters are super complex, then it gets more expensive, and. Oh, of course. Yeah. So basically, if there's more, it's more. If there's less, it's less. Right. Yeah. So flat colors, which are just uh, very flat-looking colors. Well, no, flat flat colors are things without shading. So right. Uh, I don't really have. Okay, so a flat color would be like the pit bull adopt, and then I know you scroll past it, but you didn't talk about it. But a uh, full color would be like the Sly Cooper face right. with all the shading. Right. <laughs> then we have full color, which is virtually the same thing as a flat color, except for the shading in it. So yeah. their prices range from forty to fifty dollars. Yeah. And of course, prices can go up as well. Spendy, spendy full colors. Oh, of course. And then we have reference sheets, which vary from twenty to eighty dollars, depending on the complexity of the sheet and uh, complexity of the character. Mm-hmm. Why would be a billion dollars because it's so complex? No, not really. It's just like if you have six wings, four arms, and like eight ears, and four tails, and then you want like a front, back, side, you oh. know, like mouth, paw, interests and disinterests, and like two shibis with clothing on it, it'd be like 80 bucks. Well, I'd be pretty simple. It'd just be front, back, side, maybe a paw, and then all that other information I could just add in myself, because... In the description for the losers who actually read? That, or just be actually not lazy and just edit the artwork a little bit as well and just add it into the side. <clears throat> True. That way it's less work on you as well. Ah, psh. Ah, psh. You're just cheap. 
You know it already. I'm fucking uh, broke. Yeah, whatever. It's not my problem. <laughs> I didn't say it was your problem. Good. Step off. Quit bringing uh. it up. Next section are badges. They vary from 15 to 25. Yeah. Badges are the things that you wear on the clips when you go to conventions. So that when people are like, what's your name? You can be like, no, there's my name. Right. Very interesting that you're actually, instead of just having people print them out, you're actually having it laminated and then shipping it to people. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. It's, that's kind of a normal thing, I guess, for the furries around where I am. We just got, we do it for you. Because, you know, whatever. Right. Yep. And then, buttons. Buttons. I do buttons. I have a button maker. From two They're to five. two and a quarter inches. Yes, it says right there, two and a quarter inches. Yep. Um, yeah, I offer... I'm eventually, soon, 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 soon. So by soon, I mean, like, next year, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm have, gonna have um, buttons, buttons that you can buy, and they're out. they'll just be, like, the buttons that you get at conventions, where they're just, you know, the same image repeated over and over and over and over and over again, and those are the two dollar ones. But if you want like your own button with your Sona's face on it specifically, you then that's five dollars because you know I'm never gonna make another one of those unless you ask me to. Right. And if you ask me to, it'll be um two fifty after right. the first one. So it's five dollars for the first one, and then the rest are two fifty. And if you break the very 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 first one then you can get another one for a dollar and I'll know if it's the very 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 first one because I'll put a little thingy on it on the design so okay. I don't don't scam me because I fight you with frowns and maple syrup <laughs> anything else that you're planning on doing making anything Fire suits paintings Macrame. Uh, no. <laughs> doilies. Uh, hey, doilies are pretty great. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, what else? I'm thinking. Um. Two. No. No, well, yeah, if people want, I can make you, like, a toque and mittens and a scarf and, like, a mug cozy or a blanket and stuff like that, but I was thinking more along the lines of, like, comics and such, which I'm planning on doing soon, 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 soon. And, and, and Nova <laughs> Talk soon is 2015, 2016. Or, you know, like, winter break, because college and such, but yeah, soon, 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 ish, about, don't rush me, I'll cry. So much later. <laughs> uh, anything else? I don't know. Do you have any questions for me? What What do you do? Virtually sell you. That's about sell what we me. do. I told you I'm the Don King of fucking artwork. My body on the streets. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. <sighs> Buy Nova's art because she's nice and she makes good things and she has kitten who needs food. Not that she can't afford to feed her kitten, it's just, you know. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in any of that information, it's just go into her journals section and, uh, Open for commission section right here. And then the, the terms of service, what she will and will not do, uh, which lists NSFW stuff, SF mm. SFW stuff. Uh, the prices are also in the price section, and the actual commission form is what you need to fill out. Mm. Is in the link. There's all little buttons. You just push the button, and there stick, you go. Stick the stuff into the things, and if I actually have discounts and such, I'm like an actual store. Holy crap! That were like promo codes and such and if you're a Twitter follower you get I think it's like automatically $5 off or something like that no 
If you pick it up at the convention, it's automatically five dollars off. If you're a Twitter follower, it's like five percent off. So if you pick it up at the convention and you follow me on Twitter for more than a week, I'm checking. <laughs> don't even. Then you'll get five dollars off and five percent off, which is a hella rad deal. So you know, if you're buying a custom button, then you know. It's pretty. No. But, you know. <laughs> Well, wait, f $5 off or 5% off if it's a button? Yeah, it actually is free. I know. I don't know where I was going with that one. Buttons don't count. I have to add that in. <laughs> Told you I'm the Don King of freaking artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I contributed for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, um, always... it since she does a lot of stuff with us her twitter stuff is always in the description below um along with her fa stuff is also there you should add my tiger dial because i do streams and sometimes it's free for all the people who are like i want free art right and watch me draw stuff it's right uh in my case yeah yeah don't ever ask because i never get it anyways what nothing you're never giving free art? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I don't know what you're whispering about. Exactly, it's the whole point. Okay. Good box. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go top in my box now. <clears throat> Just let me draw. I always let you draw. I don't know what Red's talking about, Gooby. <laughs> uh... So, this is going to be quite a video. Um, anything Wait, else would you like to add? What? Anything else you would like to add, my dear? Um, I don't know. Nope. That's about it. You sure? Yep. Okay. Um, it's, this is selling yourself. I don't know. That, well, that's a really bad thing to get me to do, because look how much it's gotten me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think I draw good art. I like to draw good art for people. Look at my art. Enjoy my art. Art is good. Art. Machangas are done. <laughs> Can you guys hear my microwave? <laughs> yep. Gooby, you know how I don't like how it beeps more Just than once. Okay, whatever, fine. <laughs> Please, it's gonna beep again in a minute. <laughs> Gooby, no. <laughs> buy Nova's art so that she can buy a quieter microwave and not this go is, insane. This is exactly <laughs> what happened last week with Attack at Hula. Yes, it was. <laughs> you guys could hear his microwave? No, no, it was all fine through the whole thing, and at the very end, all shit gets <laughs> lit. Okay, good. This is this is a normal Floofcast episode. Um, yeah. just just proves how real we are when it comes to YouTube. And there's no editing because we're lazy. <laughs> lazy? I can't afford an editing software. I can't just... afford your face, Draco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know whether I think that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> I don't know. It was like one of those your mom goes to college things. I'm tired. All I want to do is draw art. Please. Alright. Um, if you want to know what our, art, our videos are over, just, uh, just no, listen to the background noise and the giggle fits. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope yes, you guys. I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, check out Nova's stuff. She is a very good artist. Um, I'm a bit biased, but Yo, that's mostly because up. she's done art work for me and she's taken care of me. She brought me into the fandom. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie about it. Uh, comment in the comment section below if you are interested to participate in this. Uh, you don't have to do it via call like we're doing. Uh, I like to stress that. I don't think I did that in the last video. You can join us either via call and talk about your art, or you can just say, yes, I'm interested, and here's my FA page. Go check it out. And we're more than free, more than happy to just do it and us talk about your artwork. It kind of makes a different video. It's not a bad thing, but I prefer being there and talking with the artists because you get more out of it. Yes. Hey. 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 
Hmm. First what? one to comment in my shout section on Fur Affinity. Nova is a turd. Gets a doodle. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Draco, no, you don't count. You already have a doodle. I'm not even on the F80 board. I don't so even care, care Draco. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.